Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Seven Voice Channel. Today, we are going to be building the real great new Gundam theme funnel evac set. So, this thing right here contains the new Gundam plus the evac set plus the display base. I think this one is very worthy to buy. If you bought the previous new, I'm sorry, <laughs> you're gonna have to buy the double funnel set to get it. But uh, if I bought this one, I really want to tell you guys do not buy the double funnel set if you have this one because. The double theme funnel set, as I previously said at the unboxing video, it contains a water slide decal, a display paste, and six, only six effect set, and then extra six funnels. So you're gonna have six funnels uh, laying on your back or something like that. So I think this one is, is a very is a really good budget control, considering the fact that double theme funnel effect set is actually pretty expensive now. So I really think that this effect set is really worth to buy. Anyway. So I'm gonna stop talking, so let's look at the side. So as you can see right here, it provided everything that you need to know about this set. So this is how it looks like. Uh, it looks beautiful, it looks like anime, it looks like in just like in the movies. So now when you look at it, you see that uh, it's new frames, so re realistic decals, and then you know the athletic looks, and then the mobile structure, something like that, and then RG explanation. So I heard that this one is extremely good, so I'm really excited, I'm really excited on, you know, building this thing. So I'm just gonna open up all the runners first. All right, now it took me about five minutes to get everything out, it's insane. So this one right here is an additional book for you to show you how you uh, do the action base and the evac set as well. So I'm just gonna give you a brief look, done. Okay, next we're gonna flipping the actual instruction Menu. So, flipping it up, we have the we have the introduction for the new, and then we just gonna quickly flick through it because you know this menu is nothing special. You can you can find this online anyway if you are really interested in the instruction menu. So as you can see right here, this is a lot of decals. Like look at this thing, look at this thing, look at this thing right here. Holy crap, that's a lot of decals. And then we have. Oh, the theme funnels also got um, the, what's that called? The marker, oh, uh, the sticker as well. So look at this, the color chart, and then we have Amolo Lace Faker. This one right here, I think this this pose right here looking pretty good. So, okay, skip the menu. So we're just gonna look at this. So first look at the decal sheet. The decal sheet is about 72, well, actually about 96. 96 decals yes 96 decals so first we're gonna look at okay so all of these here is actually the fin funnel the fin funnel effects right here as you can see so that's not really anything to talk about skip okay so next we have the action base base action base base so it's three combined together and then next we have this one right here is going along with the action base. This one is the action base part. All of these are action base parts. So next, oh crap, I can't, I don't really know how to. So this is the action, uh, this is part of the effect as well. So uh, this is the beam saber. So this is, this is the inner frame. So this is the I, I, wait, is it I1? Yeah, oh wait, that's H1. So this is the H1, all of these are inner frames. Uh, we can see this is obviously the shield, the rival. Uh, this is the waist. Uh, yep, the waist part. And then we have the all kinds of inner joints that I don't even know which part is which. We have a J runner. Uh, this is skirt armor. This is head. I assume this is head. Yes, I assume this is head. Uh, this is part of feet. This is a feet as well. This is the legs part as well. And then F runner, we have the backpack, we have uh, the bazooka, we have this is part of the part of the legs as well. This is I don't know which part this is. Um, this one is the cockpit. Yes, cockpit. This is a cockpit, this is a rival, top of the rival, and then we have the feet right here. Oh my god, a lot of parts that I don't even know which part is which. So this is the theme funnel inner frames. Um, yes, this is the MS joint, but it's only for the theme funnels. And then we have the A runner. We have the missiles, right? The missiles here. And then we have the bazooka ammo. We have the cockpit. This one right here, I don't know which part is this. Uh, this is the inner frames about everything. I like hands, legs, waist, torso, basically fine. And then we have a curved beam saber. 
plus a bit of a tip at the end. And then, oh my god, this is far as away. This is a K runner. We have the waist part. We have the shoulders as well. We have, I don't know which part it is. And then a lot of parts that I don't know. Oh, this is the legs. This is the legs as well. We have a, what's this one? A D. We have a shield, bazooka, rival, um, side skirt, the figure. And then we have part of the head as well. This is a torso, this is a torso part, beam sabers. I mean beam saber, not beam sabers, saber. So, and then next up we have, which part is this? C1, this is C1 runner, obviously this is fin funnels. And then this is, I don't know which part is this. <laughs> this is the legs, this is the legs, I assume this is the legs as well. This is the hand, hand uh, the hands armor options. This is an E runner, the whole runner is about fin funnels, so skip it. G runner, this is all the inner frames. We can see that this is de definitely the legs joint. This is uh, feet joints, feet joints. We have, I mean the feet inner frames. And then we have the hands, hands joint right here. And then we have, b -b 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 wait, this one is a hand joint, I'm sorry. There's a lot of inner frames here. I don't know which two, I don't know what is this belong to. I don't really know. Okay, now all four of this are fin funnel effect set part, so I can't really tell. Is it uh, okay? This is the this is the frosty effects. This one I don't really know which part is which. Oh my god, up to the last two. <sighs> this one is I one runner again. I one runner. So this is a tenors, torso parts, torso parts. Don't know. Oh, this is the fin funnels. All the fin funnel part at the top. We have, I don't really know which part is which. Oh my gosh, I'm so confused. Oh, this is the backpack. This is the backpack yellow part. And then lastly, oh my God. L, L1, un, uh, L1 runner. So we have all kinds of hands options. Trigger hand, open hand, fist hand. Don't know which one this is. Oh, and the weapon holding hand. And then we have this one, I assume this is the head. This is the arms, I mean the shoulders joined. And then we have, I don't know which one. Oh, this is fin bundles as well. The fin bundles as well. Oh my god, I finally finished the whole run of thing. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna see you guys at the review. This is gonna be a very long building process. Hey guys, welcome back to the review of the RG New Gundam. So this is a finishing of it. I honestly need to say that this new Gundam just surprised me so much. Like I can't even describe how exciting I am to get this Gunpla. This Gunpla is definitely, I must say that if you're tired of playing like um seat series or other kind of series, go back to this one. This RG is definitely worth to buy because you know, a lot of things that improved and a lot of things is actually different. So first of all, when I when I know that RG New is releasing, you know, that I always got I'm thinking of the theme funnel is not gonna stick together. They're gonna constantly fall out, blah, blah, blah. You name one. Um, and when I actually get the product, I saw that they did improved about the how the fin funnels were connecting. Now it's more stable, now it's more poseable. And it actually very surprises me because you know, as an old fan, if you've been building the XGUZ one, you know how bad it is. Like the fin funnels, if you just touch it and all of them just fell off. This one right here have no problem, but I want to do a separate part for the fin funnels because the fin funnels will get in the way when I'm showing the articulation. And overall, I need to say that this finish is absolutely amazing. I am really recommend you to, if you have the budget, buy one and enjoy it. This is, this is a masterpiece. Okay, okay, okay. okay I'm gonna, I'm not gonna talk too much. Let's just jump into the review. At the start, we're gonna start with the head, of course. So the head this time, uh, they do a very good job. So as you can see here, they use the technology that they always be using, the undergating process about the gray part of the, of the actual head but this time the head is done more well i don't uh, a lot of people have a uh, different comment they said the face is too long or anything like that i don't really think that so up to you that's that's really the personal opinion but the head this time the articulation on the head is absolutely amazing it can move up pretty far move down and then you know tweeze uh, 360 as well absolutely no problem at all so this time the head articulation is very good so we if we're gonna take a look, closer look to the head this time as you can see here the eyes is very clear you can see it clearly the eyes and this time the antenna is very sharp as well so 
actually the antenna is actually pretty sharp so it when you when you're handling it please be careful because i almost hurt myself when i'm snapping it on and this antenna is right here is very sharp and it, it is also pretty fragile so make sure you don't you don't really push down the antenna if you twist the head around or anything like that so just be careful. Now we're gonna take a close look at the torso. This time the torso, the color separation, absolutely amazing. And I must say that the torso looks pretty beautiful as well. And I don't know what this part does. So, you know, I'm speculating maybe later the XWS weapon system connector right here. So as you can see here, the, the, both sides of the torso is not doing a balancing look because normally you, either get two hooks like this or either two scope like this this time it's a one scope and a one oh actually sorry one camera and a hook anyway that anyway like that so as you can see here all of the torso is colored beautifully so we have two options to open the cockpit you're going to borrow this little tool first so this one right here is the first way to open up the cockpit or if i just pull this down or you want you might want to go on a traditional way which is opening the cockpit from the torso there's a little little joint here that you allow you to pull up so as you can see you can barely see the cockpit so you know there's two ways to open up the cockpit so really depend on you really depend on what you like and you know for those of you that played the mg version of the new gundam you know that it's very famous on you know all the armor can pull out this rg feature a bit but not quite okay but not quite so as we can as you can see right here uh we can open up the torso for a bit just a bit okay just a bit not much but you know it's a pretty good thing considering the fact that we can open up the armor to look at what's inside so i think that feature is pretty amazing let's take a look at the arms so this time there at the left shoulder we have the personal symbol of amulo lay so it's pretty good so let's just you know do a brief look so the articulation of course it can bend 360 so this part right here is spin is uh, it can spin around as well the bending angle of the arms is absolutely amazing as well that's pretty high and then we have tweezing it and then that just twisted background so this one right here feature the same type of uh what's that called same type of shoulder joint that sazabi have so if you gently pull this out you can you can make the new gundam have more outstanding um movability on the arm so as you can see here it can move move to the front pretty high as well so this pull so we got a little hidden joint inside the arms for you to pull out so just be careful when you pull it out because as you know this is a plastic model so if you pull it too hard it's gonna break anyway so just be just be careful when you play with it so yeah and then you know the different thing about the both of the arms is that the left arm here we got a beam saber hidden in it and to pull it out is actually pretty simple you just pull this up and it will automatically and it will automatically flip it out for you so i think that idea is cool it's amazing uh and also we feature one more thing just like the mg so the shoulders actually can open up to open up is pretty simple you just need to pull the side of the of the of the shoulders out just very gently um which is what i'm trying to do so just pull it out very gently and then you know flip that this little piece here you can see that you can actually see what's inside the what's what does the details inside look like so as you can see right here we can take a closer look at the details the details is pretty amazing this time well i think so well it depends on you but i really think that this feature is really cool and it allow you to look at the details instead of just hidden up inside the armor so now we're gonna take a look at the waist and legs as well so the waist piece here obviously they all gonna they all can move pretty well so that's what it looks like when all the waist part are moved out like this so as you can see right here and then if we take a look if we take a closer look to the actual joint inside we can see that you can adjust the legs position by you know unlocking this little piece down here so for example i'm going to do a quick example right here so if i pull this pull this part down which I'm trying to do. I don't know why it's not allowing me. So for example, if I pull this thing down and I can actually adjust the position here as well. So yes, you can see right here, I can adjust the legs position. So, you know, it's a pretty standard RG thing. Like basically a lot of, lots of RG have this feature, but you know, I prefer this this taller look. So which I prefer the legs joint at down below. So, you know, for the legs, uh, we're just gonna briefly talk about it so the legs of course you can kick to the front and then it can kick to the back 
kick to the side as well and then it got a pretty bending angle as well so we're just gonna take a look quickly just give me a second it's pretty hard to bend it for some reason oh my god give me a minute as you can see right here the legs the legs is actually pretty the legs movement is actually pretty good as well and we can see that there's a lot there's a there's a lot of details in it look at this look at this just look at it there's a lot of details in it so we're just gonna quickly uh, flip it back again and then the feet down here is movable as well and then it can also turn around and then it can also tweeze around like that it can also turn around like that so it's pretty cool and one thing that they featured inside the kit as well they feature one more thing um they actually added a part just like mg where you can open up you know just this little piece down here just this little piece down here you can open it up and then you know you know be like be like opening up the armor so this little piece here you can judge it you think it's useless and it's useless uh i think it's pretty cool because it can it showed you that uh, it showed you more details just a quick fyi for you so mine is already, already got a little white on it because bandai designed this model to be very stable and very solid so they they kind of you know do the joint very tight so when i push in the legs i i push it too hard and now it's got a little white mark on it which means i need to be uh, more careful when i try to pose or when i move the legs around so please be careful when you're trying to push in the legs don't push it too hard or you're gonna get a white mark like this to make the next process easier so i remove the upper body of the new so it's easier for me to operate so there's a, actually a hidden joint inside the waist which you have to pull down this piece first and then you want to flip up this little piece here is a little bit hard so you might want to borrow some tools if you try to flip it up um so right here you want to flip up the top of the top of the back waist and then you want to pull down you want to pull down gently which i'm trying to do oh my god this is this is a bit tough to do so we want to pull down so as soon as you see this part came out and then you want to put this back on and then you know lock the bottom up so what this does what this part does is actually um extending your movement on the waist so right now it looks kind of normal right so just give me a minute i'm gonna snap on the new gundam if you take a look at this carefully now you can see that new gundam got a absolutely amazing movement on the waist now because i extended all the joint out so as you can see right here the new gundam movement really improved so that that extension joint is used for that. Uh, if you're shoving into the shelf, I don't think you need to open it. If you're someone that always taking out from the shelf and then you know mess around with it, pose with it, shoot photos with it, definitely open up this joint. It will help you a lot. So a quick look to the backpack. Um, this is the new Gunners backpack. I think a lot of you been been seen it like 20 times or something like that. So you know, thrusters down here, and then we have a beam saber right here, and then we have this hook right here for the theme funnels. So Bandai actually planned this all along when they release it. They give you an extra set that go along on the other side of the shoulder. What this does is written in the instruction menu. If you bought the double theme funnel effect set, that will be that little piece that you just saw will be replacing this part and then achieve the double theme funnel effect. So, you know, they planned it all along fine and then the the uh, uh the the thrusters though they can move up a little bit up right here as you can see the whole thing is movable so you know it's not like very outstanding movement but at least you can move it so as you can see right here is a little bit of armor exposure here so i think that's really good and now let's just talk and then now this thing right here is for connecting the uh, action base is kind of getting in the way if you try to store something store the beam rival or store the store the bazooka at the back so it's kind of annoying well anyway but uh, i tested it on the action base it works pretty fine it's not gonna break uh, no matter how i shake it it's not gonna break so i so this little piece here the connector to the action base is actually working kind of good let's talk about the accessory so first we're gonna look at the couple hands option so the hands option we have three actually four in this kit so first one is the standard uh weapon holding hand oh no i mean the fist hand on the actual thing so we have the beam rival hand we have the open hand we have the weapon holding hand for the bazooka and the beam sabers and next up of course we're gonna get the legendary figure right here legendary figure i don't know can you see it or not the legendary amulet figure 
And next, we have a bunch of beam saber effect parts. So this one right here on the backpack is actually a completely different one than the one on the on the arms. So this one right here, um, you will need to put in the curved one. You will you will you will need to put in the curved beam saber effect part. And actually, at the bottom here, I don't really know that it have this setting as well. Why there's always hidden settings? So it works just like the strike, uh, the sword strike. There's a little beam at the back that it can generate that I never knew that it existed. So it's kind of funny that I don't even know this part exists. So that's pretty much for the beam saber. And then normally, if you don't use it, just um, put it back on the backpack. And next up, we're going to take a look at the beam rival so this rival right here uh, i think you saw it like a hundred times because that's everybody saw this rival like a hundred times because we all built new gundam before so we all know what it looks like there's a little piece here for you to flip out this part right here is for you to store at the back of the waist which i'm going to show you right now uh it's a bit hard to do it because now i got this i got this action base joint uh, getting in the way so it's very hard for me to do it so that's what ba what you want to do. So I'm just gonna take this off because it's it's so hard for me to to say it. So what you want to do is just flip this part out and then just connect it on the back of the waist. Done. That's how it works. That's how it works. So I'm just gonna leave it up there like that. I'm just gonna leave it up. Leave it at the back like this. So as you can see right here, you can't really do that if you're putting on the action base adapter because they're gonna crush into each other. So just choose one and then put it on. And next up, we're gonna show the bazooka. So the bazooka here is a very signature weapon of the new Gundam as well. As you can see right here, that we have a lot of markings here. All the color separation is done beautifully. We even have the color separation at the at the missile magazines right here so this little piece up here if we flipped it out if i can if i fl if you flipped it out it's actually for you to connecting to the backpack connecting to the backpack is pretty simple there's a little hole here and then you just find it and step it on done so that's pretty much it we also have two beam saber in fact power for the ones for the one beam saber on the left arm so right here to beam effect part is not really enough it's not really special because we've been saw it like thousand times lastly we have a shield this shield right here i think it's done beautifully uh, despite the fact that you got color separation on the actual shield itself uh, it's a little bit of gray mix a little bit of white and uh, it's, and i think it's great so at the tip of the shield it features four missiles parts and then a uh, well, I don't know, this, uh, it's like a small gun on the tip of the shield it featured and then we have all kinds of logo on it. It looks gorgeous. It looks amazing, I think. And to put this on is actually pretty simple. You just basically clip it, clip it at the side of the, clip it at the side of the arm and you will find the joint. And it's actually, oh, and it's actually, uh, that's one part that I want to say that the beam sabers on the left arm is actually not that stable and for some reason it it keep popping out when I try to take off the shield so it's very hard for me to judge like is the shield very stable on the arms it's very hard because when I try to pull it out this part is gonna fall off so it's a little bit it's a little bit hard for me to test the shield but the shield do have some good features so i'm gonna put this on back on right now the shield have an individual joint inside so when so you can move the shield around and then you know tweeze it around as well so that's pretty much for the accessory now i'm gonna go up to the fin funnels now okay i'm gonna get into the main point this is the fin funnel six of them of course and this time it is more stable why i will just pull one out and tell you so back in like a very old time we only have this little clip little hook here that actually does nothing like you touch it it just fell off now they fixed this problem how did they fix it they added a extra piece here for you to you know clip it on so it it adds like more stability to it so when you hook on it even you shake it it doesn't fall off so it's pretty great i think that part is pretty great to put it on to the actual gun part is pretty simple you just basically put it on the hook that i just mentioned at the backpack clip it in and done so right now you're gonna see some you know weight problem because you know the left side of the new gundam is very heavy it has six funnels in it so it's gonna be uh it's gonna be leaning towards one way that's completely normal because there's no way it's gonna do it balance or if you don't want this happening you can actually swap around the beam saver side to the another hook and then you know give the other side of it free funnels there you go balance perfectly balanced this whole thing should be
Now, this is the actual event set right here. Um, you can change the height, you can change the angle by yourself. It's just simply, you know, turn it around, twist it around, whatever it calls, just simply like that. So now I'm gonna show you how to put on the theme funnel. So I'm just gonna quickly grab one from the actual actual Gundam. So this is what it looks like normally, but be careful when you when you twist it because the frame is actually pretty weak as well. So if you if you bend it incorrectly, it can break. Don't pull it from here, pull it from the bottom. Pull it from the bottom to change the angles. And it's very easy to put it on. Uh, it's as a cross, it's a cross joint at the at the top of the uh, at the bottom of the funnel. So it's very easy. You just find a cross and then just put it in. And that's how it's done. It's pretty simple. And you know, just remember when you bend the Veeam funnels, make sure you bend it from the base, not from the top. Thank you for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this review. I gotta tell you that this thing doesn't even fit on my screen. It doesn't even fit on my turntable. It's very hard for me to do the presentation, but honestly, this effects, this new Gundam effect set is a must buy. Please bought this one. You can save yourself uh, for a bunch of money for the uh you can actually save yourself from the premium and that nightmare you don't have to buy the double v vinyl effect part like this one right here is enough for you to pose around and you know i really think that this one right here is really cool i absolutely recommend you to buy this one please enjoy it this is very good uh, i hope you guys like my videos drop a like on my video subscribe to my channel for more good content like that and um i will see you guys in another gapa video goodbye